Hey there folks, today we are doing a quick tutorial on how to create basic custom objects in Tabletop Simulator, or TTS. Creating fun and custom objects is a cool way to enhance your games and can create a unique experience with your playgroup. Creating these custom objects is quite simple, and we're going to cover how to do this in a series of modules covering the steps needed and showing several example cases. I have timestamped each section in the case that you desire to skip ahead to a particular example. The first place to start is by preparing and collecting your images, and then placing them on your computer in a location where it is easy to find them. As we can see here, I have prepared a number of sample images that we will be using for our examples today, and I have stored them on my Downloads folder on my PC. I recommend using a .png format for your images, which maintains transparency. This will allow us to create objects with shapes, round edges, and so on. The shape of your images will matter for certain aspects. The size, however, can be adjusted rather simply, so go ahead and skew larger. Larger images will look just as good shrunk, but smaller images may look pixelated when enlarged. Do note that non-transparent image types, like a JPEG, will certainly work as well if that's all you have access to. That said, they probably won't come out quite as nice. Now let's head into TTS and start building some custom objects. Create a single player game, and then choose any game to enter the environment. We will be using the Star Wars Destiny Air H Workshop mod, but you can use anything available to you. One of the easiest places to start is if you have a component that you like, but you just desire to modify what it looks like. For this example, we will be modifying an existing card that I have previously created and changing it with the images that we have prepared. We'll grab our object here. We can flip it over, you can see, and what we'll do here is we will go to Custom in the menu. Go ahead and move that over so we can see it, and then we'll go on the face. We'll then drive to that local document that we have, and we'll choose Card Back. We'll like to our front for the face, load it to the cloud, and make sure we don't click. Make sure we let it get finished, Then we can go to Back, select Card Back, do the same, Cloud, Upload, let it finish doing its thing, and then we click Import. Now we can see that our card has card back, card front on either side. You will also notice that it has a different title than we want, and we can go in and change this to whatever we want. Test card. And there we go, we have test card all ready to go with the front and the back. If what we desire is to create a new object, there are several options available to us as custom objects built into TTS itself. To see the options, we go Objects, Components, and then Custom. We see several options here. First, let's create a token object. We simply click and drag it onto the field, and we will see the blank template appear as well as the custom pop-up. Now you will see there's only one image that can be uploaded, and in this case, we'll use the rectangle image front from our prepared images. We go to Image, Drive, find it, open, cloud, upload, done, and now we import and let it think. There we go. Now our token is created. We can play around with the thicknesses, make it stackable, and so on to customize what we want. One thing to note that for tokens is that if we flip them over, well that's interesting, right? It actually looks like we're looking through a window at the back of the image. If this isn't what you're after, you may instead want to use a tile. Let's go ahead and create one of those as well. We click and drag as before, and now we see that there are two images available, one for the top and one for the bottom. Let's go ahead and create our tile, this time using the square images. And there we go. You'll notice that we can now flip our tile over, and there are different images on each side. There is a difference between the tile and the token, though. Notice how the transparency in the image is maintained in the token, but not in the tile. We actually see the edges of the image right there. A token will let us do fun shapes and have it translate well into Tabletop Simulator. For example, let's use that picture of Barney that I prepared. Drag out our token, just go drive, select that image, let it do its thing with the cloud, import, and boom, we see right away we have a fun-shaped token, but of course, remember when we flip it over, it is inversed. 
If we want more fun shapes with our tokens, we will need to utilize the shapes functions in the custom menu right up here. For our tiles we made already, we can simply choose rounded and see. Now we don't have the black on the edge. And if we wanted to make one that's a circle, we could simply do that as well. But see, of course, it doesn't fit our image. That's why I have the circle image. So let's go edit it to that. Back. Front. And there we go. There's our full on circle token or our pog. Once we've created our objects, it's time to save them and share them with our friends. Saving is quite simple. Right click, save object, give it a name, and then save it into your root folder. But now comes the trickiest part, finding the file you just created on your computer. To do this, in your file explorer, just navigate to Documents, Tabletop Simulator, Saved Objects, and click on that folder. Then you should be able to find your custom object, which will be a .json. You can share that file with your friends. But remember, if you move your file out of that folder, you'll have to navigate back to it each time you want to use it. So just make sure to make a copy if you need it somewhere else. Okay, folks, that's it for today. Hopefully this helped. As always, appreciate a comment and a thumbs up if that was indeed the case. Happy creating, and as always, go Commando.